this video we are playing find the regular show so i have absolutely no idea where this character set has come from it's just one of those random games that have popped up when i've joined roblox in my index menu so i thought i would give it a go um so i'm assuming it's sort of one of those youtube or sort of i don't know cartoon series like find the gravity falls find the gumball it's not something that I think is overly popular because my kids have never watched it or mentioned it but it doesn't matter there is still some lovely characters to be found they are a really nice image for the index and the kind of badge that pops up once you've found them there is nothing worse than when you're sort of playing one of these games and the image is really pixelated <laughs> I couldn't tell you which of these are sort of main characters or side characters, I have absolutely no idea. The map's reasonably small, um, but it, it's quite nice, um, it's, it's just a bit simplistic, it's fine though. Again, making our way into the house. And although there is furniture, again, this is where I say it's very, very basic. We have a code door here, so it's literally just finding the coloured plaques with the numbers on. You won't need to do that because obviously I am here to give you the code, which I will show you a bit later on. Um, but obviously I will still show you the locations just in case the code does ever change, you know where I found them. I don't know how true to the actual series this house is or any of the styling is. You'll have to let me know in the comments if you have seen this series. There seems to be a lot of uh, moving in boxes or moving out boxes. Um, so I don't know again if that's stylized from the show. But it could just do with a bit more finesse on the furnishing side just to make it like proper polished look like a proper house. You'll also have to let me know if the series is any good because obviously I can recommend it to my kids to watch. So we have the motorcycle coming off what they look like doing a stunt off the roof and we have Johnny Crasher and that looks so much like Evil Knievel. It's untrue, it just makes it funny and the name as well, it's just, I love that one. That is probably my favourite character of the lot. I also like the stylization and the placement in the map a lot as well. But like, as an adult these days, like, I look at some of these characters and I'm like, what? <laughs> what are they watching that these characters can possibly have a storyline or actually be entertaining? They just look weird, like you've got a yeti with a shaved chest, that's all that reminds me of. A shaved abominable snowman. <laughs> there is an order list available in my video description if you do get stuck or please do drop me a comment I'm more than happy to help where I can and if I can ask if you do enjoy this video or any other from Judgment TV if you can please help to support me by dropping a like on this video leaving me a comment and most importantly subscribing to my YouTube channel thank you so so much I mean, could you imagine going into that toilet kind of through the one door, then seeing somebody on the only toilet that's in there, like, oh, sorry, mate. <laughs> I've never seen a toilet styled like it. <laughs> but this is what I say about the sort of polishing touch, the finesse. So we find another plaque on the taco truck. So there's one over on that yellow building by Fiery Droopy Mouth, and then there's one right there on the taco truck. Because it's sort of, as you can see, like even the pig, <laughs> applesauce. <laughs> I love that they put the condiment as its name. <laughs> but look, what is that ghost lo-fi? Why has he got a fork or a hand sticking out of his head? Like, I don't get it. <laughs> and how do these all mix into one TV series? Like, my TV series of the day sort of had a commonality theme. So you had like the dinosaurs, you had, I don't know, Care Bears, the Gummy Bears, and they were all the same styling of characters. <laughs> I 
We'll just finish off the park area first. And we've got a store that's very convenient if you live over the road, just like run out of something, you're gonna run over to the store. But again, this is what I say about finesse, like you put a shelf in there, but there's nothing there, there's no produce, the store is empty. We've just wandered past the red code, so that is on the side of the store. Again, like, oh. I, I kind of get like, yes, the baby ducks are on water. I like the fact the geese are in the tree, but it's like a blob of water, like a puddle. Normally, if you've got a park, it's like a nice little edge to it. You might have a bench and bushes, you know what I mean? They normally make ponds quite nice to sit by. <laughs> And then we've got someone with their trailer or caravan and I don't know why these remind me and I can't remember what they're called in the troll movie but they look like the um, sort of ogre things out of trolls I, <laughs> is that what they're styled on I have no idea <laughs> Okay, prank caller is usually on a phone, but why is it like an 80s cordless phone? Like, I haven't seen one of those phones in donkey's years in that style. <laughs> we have just walked past our final number on the gravestone. See, I don't get like why you've got sort of normal looking characters, like normal humans, and then you've got like a walking phone. I do like the zombies, they look ace. Thing with this map I absolutely love the carousel by the way before I make my next point I love the fact that you can sit on it and actually have a ride um, that is one of the nicest carousels I think I've seen in a finder game but what I was going to say is with the map there just seems to be a lot of different random stuff um, in the one area again I don't know how true to the TV series it is um, I, I wouldn't have the copyist but you could have had the circus, the fairground as a section by itself, a trailer park by a section by itself, the stores as a section by itself. We've got a very boring restaurant here that only sells grilled cheese, but again, there's just enough to kind of call it furnished, but it's not like, wow, it, you know, that polished finesse to it. We have Earl out the back of the dojo. Oh, sorry, Death Kwondo. Not many of the buildings you can actually go inside, so maybe for some updates it'd be nice to actually um, get some access to those. Reaper Box, again, it's carrying um, a rubbish bag, so it's nice that they're going out to put it in a wheelie bin. like it's not supposed to be a cinema but then like you come in and it's a plain building so it's sort of like it's nice that they put dvd in front i mean i haven't bought a dvd for years so i don't know how old this this series is because nobody buys dvds anymore most people are hooked up to sort of like amazon netflix disney <laughs> Coffee is spelt wrong, like there should be two F's in coffee, but again, I don't know how true to the series that is. We've got a random cloud person. <laughs> again, it's sort of furnished enough that you could get that it's sort of like a restaurant, but it's not like super wow. We've got a floated head of Garrett Bobby Ferguson, like <laughs> it's head so much bigger than the rest of them. <laughs> We've got a British taxi. Why have they got a monster black cab? <laughs> oh, if, hint in the UK, if you're ever traveling, do not get a black cab. They are so expensive. Literally ask somebody for the number of a local taxi firm. They work out a lot cheaper. 
We have Benson, which looks like a kind of walking cocktail fishbowl. And then going back into the original house in the centre of the park, and we can insert the code here. And the code is 6257. So now we have finished off this map, we're going to teleport to space and it looks like we've got another map coming soon. Again, I don't know if it's sort of a generic map they're going to add or if this is true to the sort of series. Again, I have no idea. But it's very, very similar to the original map. So I'm not like the world's biggest fan of regurgitating the same map um just under sort of like sandy's goldfish bowl from sort of spongebob square pants that's what it sort of feels like you have also got double jump which may help you with some of the jumps up onto the roof as well so don't forget to use those free perks. But what I will say about the space map is you can start to see a bit of potential for the game. Um, so we start to see the teleport, so obviously downstairs in the basement we went into the kind of question mark puzzle and it teleported us up to the roof. Um, so, and we do have a lot more use of sort of veiled entrances which is nice. So again we've got something that looks like it's out of Alien, um, obviously a very popular film as I was growing up, um, but it's like an identical Alien. All you need is Predator and then you've got the pair. <laughs> so we've got two spaceships kind of outside of the bowl. Again, you've got some sort of potential for the hidey places out the back of the spaceship. This one isn't furnished, which is a bit of a disappointment unless obviously the spaceship wouldn't be furnished. I do like the background of this space, it is nice. Again, I, I don't get the golf carts, like, <laughs> it's not over a golf course. You could have tied it in had there been a golf course. But then I would have potentially had like the flag, the golf buggy, the kind of clubs, the, the club bag, the golf tees. There would have been enough in a golf theme to kind of do different items apart from just golf buggies. And then we sort of have this office building type thing. I, I don't quite know what the function of this building is. We have a truss around the back which gets us up onto the roof. Doug McFarlane, that looks like the boss out of office space I think I'm thinking of. I can picture, you know you can picture something and you just can't remember where it's from. I know I'm going to go to bed tonight and remember it and I'll be like, oh dang, that's where it's from. <laughs> so you naturally think this area is uh, empty but if you actually walk into the wall we get teleported into a secret meeting room again this is where I start to say you can see some potential so when I was coming back to find the one that I was missing um, the carousel glitched it must have known how much I love the carousel and brought it into space for me <laughs> so I don't know what was going on there but the one that I missed so the hint said escaping, 
Well, obviously we're in a massive glass dome, so the only real place to escape is in the spaceships. And again, as I said, up in the potential of having things a bit more hidden, Mr. Ross is in the cupboard there. And there we have it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you real soon in my next video.